I my ministry believe in practical Christianity. Yes. And what I see, who will be the one to donate a kidney to this man as we became Chengdu and everywhere he's tiny. And I remember a young man from South Africa, a pastor, he asked a question, young man, don't bring something that you know that is not possible. And I tell the man that is possible, I will donate. Then I tell the family to took me to their doctor. If my kid didn't match to Mr. Zubi Q. Chendo, I will give free of charge. And then we went to Giaraba Hospital. And after the test, and my kid didn't match, and I donated the kidney. But the process, time to do the operation, I discovered that many friends, pastors, there was calling, young man, that is the end of your life. How do you think that you can live with one kidney? And I told them that Jesus is the one that teaches about the love. So I have to fulfill all the righteousness to save the life of this man. That if you have two kidney, means this one one, is for Azubi Kuchendo, the one for me. And I decided to donate the kidney. After the surgery, and I don't have any problem, I am okay. Some of them come to me, some call online, Pastor, are you okay? I said, I'm okay. The operation took place 2014. Hmm. So since that time, I have never discovered any pains or any problem in my health. I'm okay. Now, tell me about um, the process when you got to the hospital uh, where, you know, the family took you to and all that. Did you have people talk to you, explain to you what it was that you were going to do? Yeah, the doctors. Mm. The doctors told me that it's not a small journey. But I have decided to prove that I am a pastor. And I told them that no matter the journey, no matter the tough, I am ready to donate the kidney. To the extent that the doctor that do the operation, he look at me, say, you are, you are weak. Do you think that you can make it? And I stood in my ground that I will make it. 